Greetings everyone, and welcome to an ASMR Music Geek review of first thoughts and impressions of one of the most hype fire albums of 2020. I'm so excited right now, and I have to be, you know, relaxing for this, but I'm really excited. I, I, I was not expecting this to come out so soon. Lil Uzi has surprised us all by releasing Eternal A Take. Finally, after all of these years of waiting, we now have the next, the newest Lil Uzi Vert album. So, I've listened through the entire thing about five, six times already, and I've listened to like my favorite songs like eight times. So, uh, I love, 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 love this album. So, I'm gonna be going through all the songs and the tracks that I really like. But uh, first, let's let's do some ASMR sounds of eternal take, 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 by Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert. It sounds like you start saying Lucifer if you say it too many times. <laughs> but here we go. Baby Pluto. Baby Pluto. Lil Uzi Vert. Orangey. All the same. Uh, he's just playing different characters, different people in this album. It's fantastic. So it starts out with this fire track, Baby Pluto. Uh, this one starts, this is the first track on the album, look at this album art right here, are you all seeing this thing? Only Lil Uzi Man comes up with stuff like this, that is our boy right there, shout out to Lil Uzi, always, always with like the hypest album covers, I don't care what anyone says, I've been an Uzi fan for years, so I absolutely love this cover here, I voted for this one on Twitter, I, I also like the third one that, that he uh, put up, but the second one, something about this was special, so really like this. So, Baby Pluto starts out, immediately gets me into a good mood, puts me into like the vibe of the album. Uh, I give this song, let's see, I give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Really, really liked it. Uh, all the songs on this album are really, really good. There's not like a bad song on this album. Uh, like, everything is good on this album. I love everything on this. It's just like Love is Rage, too, especially the deluxe edition. Like, every track is fire, so Baby Pluto immediately starts you out. Great track. Uh, I love the beat. Uh, Lil Uzi, by the way. I don't know who he contacted, but he got in touch with some of the craziest, like, wizards or something, because these beats are magical. Like, every beat on all of the songs on this album, with the exception of one, I'll get to that later, are, like, masterpieces. Like, I don't know how Lil Uzi and other artists are completely different, because some rap albums are terrible in terms of beats. Like, they're not there. Lil Uzi, though, uh, Cardi, Travis, like, uh, Playboy Cardi, Travis also, they, they usually have really, really good beats on their album, but Lil Uzi something about him, I don't know, maybe he's friends with all of the DJs and they give him like the best tra tracks or something, uh, but Baby Pluto, love the beat on this, Lil Uzi's flow, uh, or should I say Baby Pluto's flow, everything on this, great, great, I love this as a starting song, so 8.5 out of 10, uh, can't really, you know, <laughs> uh, have the music playing here, the video gets copyrighted, but next up we have Low Main, this one I give a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, I loved Baby Pluto, but Low Main, as soon as this came on, I was like, listen to it. I was like, this right here is fire. This is a banger track right here. Uh, I, I legit started like vibing right over here in my chair, trying to do like Lil Uzi shoulder, you know, you know, you know, you know, the Lil Uzi shoulder move. So, oh, this is such a good track right here. 9.5 out of 10. Uh, beat is great, Uzi's flow, there's some great, <laughs> great parts in this track, it's so good, this is like, it feels a little bit like classic Uzi, 
like maybe 2016 Uzi. I really liked it. I really, really like this. It, it was good. It was great. Uh, I listened to this one like eight times so far. Absolutely love this one. It's up there among my favorites. Next we got Silly Watch. This one is also very good. I give it a... I give it a 9 out of 10. I'm giving all of them like really high scores. Silly Watch is great. When it first came on, I was like, whoa, I really feel it. Uh, fun fact about Silly Watch, this one has like an older low Uzi like vibe to it. If any of you uh, have ever listened to Safe House or Super Saiyan Trunks, some older low Uzi for tracks, uh, this one really gives me vibes of those, of, of those older songs of his. So I was like, wow. We're seeing, like, Uzi go back to that. That is that is awesome. I love this. So he, yeah, there's some, like, older Uzi vibes in this one. Like, this one, Lil Mane felt like 2016, 2017 Uzi. This one felt like 2015, 2016 Uzi. So that was great. Uh, you know what? Also, it gave me some vibes of Four of Us, if any of you know that song. Four of Us. Four of Us. <laughs> uh, really, really good track, by the way. So hype. Next we got Pop. Um, Pop felt like even older Lil Uzi, like I'm talking Purple Thoughts EP, and all the true Uzi fans in the comments right now, you know what I'm talking about, Purple Thoughts EP. Uh, if you don't know, then it's, it's perfectly fine, you can search for it on YouTube. Uzi did a lot of EPs and tracks and stuff early on. This right here is a flow and the style of it, like even the track all feels like that Uzi from like very, 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 very early on. So I like that this was like a callback almost to that. So all of these tracks were almost like callbacks to older Uzi. Then we have You Better Move. Now, oh, I, I forgot to rate these. Did, did I rate? I rated Silly Watch. Uh, Pop, I give Pop a, let's see, I give it an 8 out of 10. Because it's older Uzi, but not the older Uzi that I'm super, super, super a fan of. But it's still great, you know, 8 out of 10, awesome. This is still a fire track, like, vibe, vibe to this one. But here we are, You Better Move. Now, this is my least favorite song on the album. Like, if this comes up and I already heard it once or twice, I'll probably skip it. And the reason for that is the beat. Now, Uzi's flow, Uzi on this, amazing. Like, Uzi is a 10 out of 10 in this, in this track. And that makes me sad because the beat, the beat is like a 4 out of 10. So that's why I have to give the song a 7 out of 10. So it's the lowest rating I'm going to give to any song on this album. Uh, the beat is literally a loop that's, that goes on over and over and over again. It's from that old like Windows Microsoft Space Pinball game. And it just keeps going... As, as Uzi raps over it. And the song's like three three minutes and 15 seconds long. So after like a minute and a half, I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm being hypnotized, brainwashed, please. The beat, can you please change? Can you change up? And it just keeps, it keeps on going with the same loop. And Uzi's great on it. So I just wish the beat was better. So I'm a little bit surprised at this one. It feels like a beat. I don't know who produced this one, but the beat for this feels like a 12-year-old the first time he wants to make like a beat. You know, he wants to start his SoundCloud rap career and he goes onto YouTube and finds out how to make a beat with like FL Studio or something. So then he like just puts in like two random sounds and like loops it over and over and over and it's like, wow, I made a killer beat. That's what this felt like. So I know I'm roasting it, but Uzi's great. Uzi's 10 out of 10 on this. It's just the track, the beat, got really repetitive on me uh, to the point where it wasn't really that enjoyable because I kept focusing on the same like five second loop happening over and over and over and over again. So seven out of 10 for this one. Weakest, weakest track on the album. I know a lot of others agree with me. Here we have Homecoming. Now Homecoming is actually pretty good. Uh, this is like a fan favorite. I've been seeing a lot of people like mentioning this one. Uh, the beat is like an old, old school style. Like it feels like really 80s or 90s, like rap music. So kind of like gets you on, I don't know, gets you hype, gets you dancing or something like that. Uh, fun thing about this one, the first time I heard it, I was like, you know what? 
this feels like a track that they could definitely get like Young Thug or Travis Scott on. Like I'm thinking of Travis Scott or Young Thug on this, like as a feature, I feel like they would fit perfectly in this track right here for some reason. Like if you listen to it like somewhere around here, it feels like they could have given like 40 seconds to Young Thug or Travis on this track right here because it's special. Um, I give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Next up we have I'm Sorry, I love this track, it was so good, 9 out of 10 to I'm Sorry. Uh, this right here feels like Uzi from a perfect love tape. And let's see what else, what else, it, it really feels, it feels like Lil Uzi uh, uh, versus the world and perfect love tape Uzi. That era, this song fits perfectly with that, like this right here. As soon as I felt it, you feel that nostalgia of older Uzi. Uh, I love the lyrics in this too, uh, you actually relatable certain things in this track, uh, as most Uzi songs are, they really, like, even though Uzi's, like, super rich and famous, there's always, like, small parts in songs where you're like, ooh, I felt that, so Uzi really puts, like, his heart and soul into his music, that's why he's, like, my number one favorite of the modern rappers, uh, absolutely love Uzi, so I'm sorry, give this one a high rating as well great great track listen to this one so many times uh it's almost perfect for me here we have celebration station this i'm already gonna tell you 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 track for me the second this came on i was like ooh, you feel the good vibes just off this song this like this is the song that if you have a bad day you listen to it this one makes your spirits like rise like you'll feel happier for sure when you listen to this one kind of like Lil Uzi uh, you know where he's like uh, now I do what I want that song gets a lot of people like hype gets a lot of people happy Celebration Station is that for this album uh it's just a really good vibe I love the beat Uzi's flow in this is like so happy I really hope this song is a single I hope we get a music video uh I have a feeling we are but it's really, really good. The production value on the beat is insane. There's so much going on. Really happy song. Like, the second, you, the second you start listening to this, it's like, you're already smiling. Like, it's a great track. And it's also a little bit of that older Uzi, you know? So, yeah, I love it. This is such a good track. Such a good one. Oh, oh man. I want to listen to it again right now. I actually want to pause the video and just listen to it. It's so good. Go listen to Celebration Station if you are only going to listen to one or two songs on this entire album. Uh, I recommend Celebration Station and another one, which will come later. This is a 10 out of 10. Next we got Bigger Than Life. Now this one is also another interesting one. As soon as this one started, I was like, you know what? This almost feels like a track that they could get like, I want to say Young Thug, Travis Scott, Lil Baby, Gunna on this. like. I think one of those would kill it for sure. Maybe even two of those, you know, featuring Gunna and Lil Baby. I don't know, Bigger Than Life really felt like their type of beat or something. Uh, this one gets, this one gets like an 8.5 out of 10. I really like this one. Good, good track, Bigger Than Life. Uh, definitely more of like a modern Uzi feel on this one, but still amazing, really good. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised like no one was featured on this one just because of how hype it was. Next we got Chrome Heart Tags. Now this one is special on the album because it's like produced by Chief Keef. So yeah, shout out to Chief Keef for producing this one. Uh, Chrome Heart Tags. This one is also interesting. Like, it's gonna sound weird, but there are a few songs like maybe NLE Choppa or The Baby or uh, let's see who else. <laughs> Yeah, Annalie Choppa or the baby, the baby on this. I feel like they could have worked on this in a, in a I don't know, go listen to your, in, yourself on the album. There's some songs on here where I'm like, huh, Uzi's great on this. And I think someone else would have been great on this too. Like, Uzi's perfect alone. He doesn't need anyone. But sometimes I'll hear like the beat and then I'm like, you know what? This sounds like the type of songs that these guys use. So I don't know, I just like, try to mix beats and match them to people that I think would use them, you know, like Blueface always has the type of beat that he goes with, and Choppa and Baby and Stunna for Vegas, uh, they have like their own thing, 
So this one felt like one of those. So I liked it. I liked it. Chrome art tags. Um, did I already rate it? I don't think I did. Uh, I give this one. I give this one an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I, I know. I, I know this one is also kind of like a fan favorite. I've been seeing people's lists. Uh, next, bust me. This one's great. This one's fire. Nine. Let's 9.5 out of 10 to this one. I've listened to this one like eight times. Really, really good track. Uh, Beat is great on this. Uzi is great on this. And then there's even like some old, older Uzi vibes on this. You know, perfect love tape. Uh, first, like Love is Rage. Love is Rage 1.5. That type of Uzi. Love this. Great, great track. Great track. So many good tracks. I love everything on this album. I know I'm a fanboy fan of Uzi. So you shouldn't really take my opinion too seriously if you want a serious music review, but I'm so happy with this album. I absolutely love it. Uh, prices. Okay, so this one is special. It's actually like a cover. They sample uh, Travis Scott's uh, The Way. Well, oh no, Way Back. Why did I just say The Way? <laughs> uh, the tra uh, Travis Scott's Way Back from his uh, Birds in the Trap uh, sing. Wait, yep, from his uh, Birds in the Trap album. And this track right here is an 8.5 out of 10 for me. It's fantastic. Uzi goes off on this. You know how he does in like a new paddock or something. Like he'll just go off. That's what he does in this one. So it's great. Now I'll, I'll mention something. I'm a big fan of the Travis Scott like original way back song. So when I heard this, I was like, oh, it's so cool that he sampled it. But then I, I ran into a dilemma because the Travis Scott song for me is like a 9.5 out of 10. It's one of my top five favorites from that album. So then I'm like, am I allowed to give the Uzi one a higher rating than the original? Or like what? So I feel like I give this one just slightly lower than the Travis one. So I feel okay about that. It's really, really good track. Like it's not bad at all. It's just that this sample, this song, uh, I think Travis just did it like, you know, a little bit better, just a little bit better, or I'm used to that song, but great track, nonetheless, Lil Uzi killed it on this, they should do this more often, like use other people's beats, and just have Uzi <laughs> rapping over them, because he did a great job on this one, next we have Urgency, this is a special track on the album, it's different, kind of like, uh, let me go back, I'm Sorry, it has like a different feel to it, it's not, you know, as crazy as some of the other songs. It's, you know, more melodic, I'd say. Even Celebration Station, too. So, Urgency is, I'm gonna say, more of like a love song. You know, it's a slower song. It's more of like a love love song. It kind of reminds me of something off Perfect Love Tape, actually. Like, uh, let me see. I'm trying to think. Hmm. It, it feel like if you listen to Perfect Love Tape, if you know that Uzi, uh, Urgency really feels like that, and it was great. I you actually I actually got like goosebumps at like a certain point in the song or something. Like you you, you get feels from this track. You, Uzi really puts like his heart and soul into this. You can feel it at certain points, like in the music when he's saying something. You're like, ooh, I felt that. So this is one of those songs, and. I watched, or I've been reading a lot of people's like tweets and stuff on uh, Twitter, and apparently people that aren't Uzi fans actually really love this song. So uh, if you have, uh, I don't know, someone in your life that loves The Weeknd or, you know, isn't really into fast rapping, crazy beats, stuff like that, uh, maybe they'll really enjoy your urgency because it feels like it's a song that Uzi made for people that maybe aren't his fans, or for his fans like me, because I love this. But I think people that don't really like Uzi, or don't really know him, might actually be on board with this one. So maybe, you know, show it off to your mom, your grandma, <laughs> see if they like it, because it's, it's pretty good. The beat is great for this, as are all the songs on this album, except for the one, uh, Urgency. Really good, really chill, slower song. Loved it. Uh, did I rate it? I don't think I rated it. Uh, this one gets a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10 for sure. Uh, Venetia. This is also another fire one. I give this one a 9.5 out of 10 as well. So, so good. I listened to this one many, 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 many times already. Really, really good. Uzi goes off on this one. There's some 
older Uzi vibes off this, but also some modern Uzi, you know, uh, I feel like some of the later tracks in this is all modern Uzi, so you really feel them in this, Venetia's great, great, great track, and this one is a fan favorite as well, I've been seeing this one circulating around a lot with people naming this and like their top five favorites from the album, so yeah, definitely a good one. Uh, Secure the Bag, also another great, great, great one, love this one, <laughs> listen to it so much. Uh, the beat on this is so good. Go check it out. Go check it out. Secure the bag. Uh, this one gets a 9 out of 10 from me. <laughs> At this point, I'm just fanboying about every single track, but it's so true. They're all they're all so good, with the exception of the one that is the Space Pinball music just looped. Uh, secure the bag. Great. Here we go. P2. This one gets a 10 out of 10. There's only two songs on this album. Celebration Station and P2, which I give perfect scores. P2, you get goosebumps from this song, especially if you're a Uzi fan. Ooh, I got chills on my arm. You get, you you feel you feel this song. So this is like a remix part two sample version of Uzi's most popular song of all time, like out of all of his songs, EXO Tour Life. Probably like his biggest song ever. Uh, and people that aren't even Uzi fans know that one because it's so popular. So this is a part two to that one, and it samples like the beat and certain parts of the hook for this track. So if you love XO Tour Life, you're gonna love this a lot. And on this track, uh, Uzi actually addresses what I believe is Britney Renner, his well ex-girlfriend, Muse, or whatever. If if you're an Uzi fan, you know who Britney Renner is, but. Uh, Exo Tour Life was apparently about her uh, and a lot of other songs previously with Uzi. He'd always mention Britney, if, if, if you're an Uzi fan, you know. But uh, this song, I think, is about her. But then there's parts on this which also makes me think that Uzi's talking to his fans as well, and just people in general, but mostly his fans and Britney. And it's just like a it has a nicer vibe than Exo Tour Life. It's not as, like, sad. Exo Tour Life was pretty depressing a little bit, just a little. It's a great track, but uh, P2 is definitely a little bit more, you know, uh, level. It, it, it does, it's not depressing, I would, I would say. It's, like, kind of like melancholy happiness. I don't know. Can I even say that? <laughs> it, it's nice. It kind of leaves you feeling like you're saying goodbye, but... It was a good time type of thing. So this is like the last track on the album, by the way. So it's like he's saving the banger for last. So I really, really hope this gets like a music video. It becomes a single. I want Virgil Abloh, you know, Off-White director and Louis Vuitton director to uh, direct the music video for this, just like he did with EXO Tour Life. That would be crazy. I really hope this gets popular, this track right here. And then it ends, and then there's like 15 seconds of silence. This is like the only track on the entire album which has like 15 seconds of silence at the end. Like, the song stops, and then just keeps on going and going. So it's almost like Uzi is like, yo, this could be my last album. Thank you all. Thank you everyone. Kind of thing. Like, he's done or ending for now type of thing. So farewell. I don't know, but you get feels after listening to this song. Like... For real, and it, it, I don't know, the pause, the long pause here at the end kind of makes you go like, whoa, is this the end? And then there's the bonus tracks. So we have Futsal Shuffle. Uh, I give this one 8.5 out of 10. I like this one. Really hype. Uh, this track actually feels a little bit out of place on the album now that I listen to all the songs. This one feels different. Like, it feels like it wouldn't match. I feel like they should have put New Paddock on the album and took this one out just because this should have been like a standalone single it doesn't really go with the vibe of the album but i do like the song uh, everyone's heard this one and by this point it's very very popular uh and yeah it's on the song you have tyler the creator starting off the song with like sing this and then uh at the end you have like nardwar uh in the interview that he did with louis you've heard so you know it's a fun track it's a fun one uh, i did it um, Fortnite, like, dance video thing of this for TikTok. That was pretty funny. Uh, lots of people did the dan dance challenge when this came out, so it was, you know, fairly popular. So I guess he had to include it. And then we have his recent 
a single that came out uh, that way. So this one was actually going to be leaked, and then Lil Uzi was like, no, put out the single. So they put out the single. Uh, he is in his orangey, orangey, uh, you know, uh, alter ego for this track right here. Uh, this is a great bonus track, by the way. Fire, I give this one like a 9 out of 10. I've listened to this song 500 times. I am not kidding. Since it came out like a few days ago, that's how many times I've listened to it. It's stuck in my head. I like when he says, I want it that way. I want it that way. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it samples or it covers the Backstreet Boys song, but Uzi does his own thing with it, and he kills it. I really, 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 really like this track, and I'm glad they included it. Uh, it definitely fits the vibe of the album. And this is like the official last track, even though it's like bonus tracks. It's the last track on the album, so uh, good way to end it. Nice, nice track. I like Uzi. He sings slower in this, and he raps usually like a uh, slower rap style. The beat is good. Uh, I like the children singing in the background or whatever. Oh, I want it that way. It's it's a nice like cover of the Backstreet Boys version. So I really like this track, and a, a lot of other people do as well. And then oh, after this is done, it's basically the end of the album. And then it goes back to Baby Pluto, which is fire again. And now I want to listen to the whole album again. So uh, I'm so so happy that Eternal to Take is out. Eternal to Take. Eternal to Take. Eternal to Take. Eternal to Take. Eternal. It take. Eternal to Take. Eternal to Take. Uh, I love this album cover. So I'm gonna. I'm, I actually kind of want to buy this like on vinyl or even like the CD, like the people even buy CDs anymore. I just want to like have this in my hand. Does that sound weird? Because the back cover for the album is the uh, third cover artwork that he let people vote on his Twitter for, and I really like that artwork too. So I kind of want to own this. Like I will play it in my car every single day, like when I'm out, even though I don't really need the CD. I just play, play it on like Spotify, but this is such, such a good album. Uh, now I'm just waiting for Playboy Cardi to come out with a whole lot of red, which I, I assume is going to be just as awesome as this one, but 2020 is looking great. Uh, March has made me very, 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 very happy for multiple reasons, but this is definitely one of them, and uh, I'm so happy for this album. Thank you, Lil Uzi. We've been waiting so long for this album, and I'm just happy that it finally came out. And it's just as good as I thought it would be, like, with the exception of that one track, which is still fire because of you. Uh, all the other tracks are, like, 10 out of 10s, 9 out of 10s, 8.5 out of 10s. Like, there's no bad tracks. Like, if one of these comes on and you're in the car, you're going to be like, ooh, that Uzi track's fire. So, yeah, really, 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 really like this album. So go check it out if you like Lil Uzi Vert, if you like rap music. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, I'm gonna be listening to this for like the next year, the next two years, three years, until Uzi, rele Uzi releases his next album, and he usually takes a while to do that, but it's good to wait. He usually puts a lot of work in his albums, as you can see with this, so thank you, and uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed listening or watching this uh, review here. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to help out the channel on Patreon, head on over to patreon.com slash ASMR gaming and with as little as one dollar a month you can be included in monthly shout out videos and all sorts of other cool stuff so yeah I'll see you all next time so long <laughs>